Hello everyone, welcome in the new session. In the earlier lesson, in the first chapter of the geography, we have studied the sites and location of our country. Now we will move towards the next part, the physical features of India. Physical features means, means relief, different geographical reliefs which we found in India. The formation about this physiography we are going to study in this lesson. India is a vast country already we have seen. Along with this vast country, this is not uniform. All kind of diversity we find in the India. In a social, economical diversity is there. In that way, the geography of India is also diverse. Place to place. We find different type of rocks. The kind of rocks are here. Some are hard like marble which has been used for making the Taj Mahal. The hard rocks are here and some are very soft like soap, soapstone which is used in a making tall powder. There is no hardness, no not only hardness in the rock but we are seeing the color of soil varies from one place to other because Soil is formed out of different types of rocks. So these are the differences we are going to see. Why these differences are here in the Indian landmass we will learn. India is a large landmass formed during different geological periods which has influenced her relief. Besides geological formation, a number of processes such as weathering, erosion and deposition have created and modified the relief its present form. The different relief we are looking, experiencing in the India, which are formed in the course of geology and not the geological, only the changes responsible the weathering, erosion and deposition also created many reliefs in the India. Scientists have attempted to explain the formation of physical features with the help of some theories based on certain evidences. Geomorphologists tried to put forth different theories on the base of certain evidences how the changes took place on the earth according to this theory the crust of the upper or uh, of the upper part of the earth has been formed out of seven major and some minor plates according to this theory the earth crust you have studied in the class 7th the interior of the earth, crust, mantle, upper, outer core and inner core. So this crust is floating on the mantle and this crust is formed with the seven major and some minor plates. These plates are shown in this map you are looking. Pacific plate, North American plate, South American plate, Africa plate, Eurasian plate, Australia plate and Antarctica plate. Seven plates are here. How they move that arrow is also shown. Theory of plate tectonic. What is this theory? The continent block or the plates are floating on mantle. The crust or the continental blocks are floating on the mantle. The crust of the earth has been formed out of seven major and some minor plates 
these are the following african plate antarctic plate eurasian plate indo australian plate north american plate pacific plate and south american plate the figure you are looking in this map indian plate is a moving toward the eurasian plate and due to this movement many geological forms changed in the india movement of this plate is having different directions that movements make changes in the interior of the crust and that become result on the surface the most in the way in this diagram to show convergent boundary divergent boundary and transform boundary when convergent boundaries are here they moves from this direction to this this is the arrow shown so when they moves in this way the folds are result it is become the cause for the foldings this also you have studied in the earlier part but just again try to understand when convergent convergent means they come to near to each other so the part rise up the surface rise up and it is the resulting in the folding in the divergent divergent the stresses each other from the different direction so due to this stress the surface part may be remain as a block or maybe it is the result of the drift valley in the transfer boundary boundary they moves parallel to each other in the opposite direction look this diagram in this diagram it is shown in the divergent boundaries this is diagram this is the cause for the faulting due to this stress uh, stress some part is remain as a block and some is sink down so these are the block mountains are the rift valleys the faulting is shown here how the folds are surface or the crust this is the mountain building action the movement of these plates have changed the position and the size of continents over millions of years such movements have also influenced the evolution of the present landform features of india these are the moments which are reason to get this physical landforms on the earth in this map you are looking some part is inner and outer is outer the yellow part this this is the pangea supercontinent and the outer blue is the panthalassa it was the ocean only one supercontinent was there and one ocean was there now present we are looking the seven continents but it was not there only one supercontinent pangea and outside the panthalassa ocean was there but in the course of time this pangea broke in a two continents laurasia in the north and gondwana in the south so they dipped against of each other and in between the tethys sea is a form this is the starting of formation of the continents
in this figure you will get idea again easily the Pangaea, Laurasia, Gondwana then here again the continents are drifting against of each other in this figure most of drifted far and now present days you are looking this is the present continental position so these are the changes which are took place cause of the drifting of the continent or movement of the plates the oldest landmass the peninsula part was the part of Gondwana land on which India is uh, having the stable landmass that is the peninsula part it is the part of Gondwana part we are looking this Laurasia and Gondwana and India is the part of the Gondwana land the Gondwana land includes India Australia South Africa South America and Antarctica as an single landmass the convectional current split the crust into number of pieces thus the leading of drifting of the Indo-Australian plate after being separated from the Gondwana land the Indo-Australian plate is separated from the Gondwana land to the opposite direction the northward drift resulted in the collision of the plate with the much larger Eurasian plate it is colli collided with the Eurasian plate look in this map the Eurasian plate movement toward the south and Indo-Australian plate moving toward the north so this action resulted in the collision of these both plates due to this collision the sedimentary rocks which were accumulated in the geosync line known as the Tethys were folded to form the mountain system of Western Asia and Himalaya so these collision made stress on the geosync line which was in the form of Tethys so on this Tethys this pressure from both land become more and more and it resulted in the folding and we are experiencing the Himalaya the Himalayan uplift of the Tethys Sea and subsidence of the northern flank of the peninsula peninsula plateau resulted in the formation of large basin in due course of time this depression gradually got filled with the deposition of sediments by the rivers flowing from the mountains so these are the physical features in the India the Himalayan ranges, ranges and the northern plain formed in this action sediments by the rivers <coughs> flowing from the mountains in the earth and the peninsular plateau in the south a flat land of expensive alluvial deposit led to formation of northern plains of India the land of India the land of India displays great physical variation geologically the peninsular plateau constitutes one of the ancient landmass on the earth's surface this plateau is a constant 
landmass it is the shield on the world shield means that region which never went beneath the water so this part remain or never went in the water so this called shield it was supposed to be one of the most stable land block the himalayas and the northern plain are the most recent landforms the himalayan range and the northern plain are the recent landforms but the stricken plateau is the old from the view point of geology himalayan mountains from the unstable zone the whole mountain system of himalaya represent very youthful topography with high peak deep valleys and fast flowing rivers the northern plain are formed of alluvial alluvial deposits the peninsular plateau is composed of igneous and metamorphic rocks with the gently rising hills and wide valleys 